Hi there, uh, Mark and Paul. I'm uh, making a little video for you guys to show you how to extract uh, the gland and the defensive chemicals of the Erephanus larva. Um, I'm, I apologize for my accent, I'm Dutch, so it may be possible that uh, I pronounce a few words in a, words in a strange way. But uh, I hope you, I speak English uh, well enough for you guys to be able to understand me. Um, the gland of these larvae is uh, inverted and usually hidden. And it's only uh, visible when, uh, when they protrude it. And when this happens uh, often after a stress response. So what I do is I handle the larva roughly, usually behind their head. And uh, well, maybe I can show, demonstrate it in a video. So here we have one of the larva. Um, it's fully grown. They're actually quite large already. And they're quite beautiful too. So I'll show you where the gland is located. And yes, here we have a good side shot of the very gland. Let's see. Let's try some other light, yes. The pink little thingy here. So now I'm gonna be a little rough with it. Yes, yes, it's expanding. Can you see it? It's a pink little organ. And now it's releasing defensive chemicals. Yes. This little pink little tube or sac. However you can call it, yes, this is an excellent shot. This is an excellent shot of a larva releasing defensive chemicals. And what these chemicals are, well, that's, that's up to us to find out, of course. It's yet unknown to science. And it's just intriguing how many larvae have these little hidden defensive mechanisms inside them which have never been investigated. So yes, this is an excellent shot. Sorry little guy. I have to stress you to show your organs. See here. And now now I'm gonna stop squeezing. So now the gland is going to head back into the body. See? And now it's barely visible because I uh, aren't stressing it anymore. I aren't squeezing it anymore. So the gland uh, inverts back into the body. So I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze it again. You can see it come out, see? Here it comes. There it is. This is what it's all about. It's a little pink thingy here. So I'm gonna go let it go. Wow, well, they're really huge and impressive larva. Actually, the butterfly is very impressive too. It's purple and iridescent. I think there's a lot of things we can still find out about this creature. So, that's what I'm going to do. I hope this video was uh, helpful for you guys. Of course, you guys know more about gas chromatography mass spectrometry. Yes, I had trouble pronouncing that than uh, I do. So, um, I know you guys have multiple methods of extracting the chemicals, like uh, these microfibers. Yep, I'm feeding them reed. Their natural host plant is actually bamboo, but I don't have bamboo. But reed is from the same uh, family of plants, so they uh, usually accept reed as well. So that's the end of my video. Goodbye.